Good evening, everyone. We are thank you for tuning in to watch the Afterburners play Cutting Chai. We have Afterburners, a team owned by Arthur in yellow, and we have Cutting Chai in blue playing the second game of the day, owned by Nikhil Pandey, who's not here, I believe. The seven are lining up on the Afterburners side. We have. Kunal, number nine, Aditi, Arav, Parshu, Ani, Ananya, I think that's Chavi, and Hardik Bhai. On the blue side, we have Ganna, Vikas, Shubham, and three more. There's Vidya, Ria, and one more, and Kenny. That's a deep pull. We're all walking towards the disc. They've set up a cup. Paishu back to Kunal. Arv coming back. Quickly back to Ananya. Oh, almost. Kunal again has the disc. The cup set up. Ananya is on the wings again. Back to Kunal. Good movement there. Foul call. Through the cup to Paishu. Nicely centered. Aditi back to Paishu. Travel call. Back to Ananya. To Ani, nicely done by the wings. Nice dump to Pashu. They're close to the end zone. On to Arav in the center. Kunal back to center. Again to Arav, looking for a blade, and that's a good throw. Perfectly done there by Afterburner, and that's how you break a cup. Bantai should watch it for the next game. Nice score there by Pashu. Good played by Arav. Beautiful movement all along. One zero to Afterburners. Cutting chair slowly walking back to the line. Lot of people there on the line. No wonder they can play two games back to back without feeling the stress of it. I see the logic behind Nikhil Pandey's bidding over here. Also say hi to Snakey. Hey Snakey guys. has joined us from Bangalore Ultimate. Hey guys, hey everyone. Snakey was the owner of Uncharted, and he plays and I believe coaches Airbenders. I think I, I also need to welcome to him, who was also the co-owner of Uncharted and Bangalore Ultimate. <laughs> Back to the game now. We have Vikas, More, Kenny. Ashu on the line. There's Vidya. I think that's Ria, and I can't see the sixth, seventh person on the Afterburners line. There's Hardik Bhai. I think that's Victor, Ananya, Atir, Fezan, Sharanya, and another girl who I'm not sure who, what her name is. They're calling person. I believe Victor is going to take Vikas. The way he's lining up, we see a hand, and Hardik Bhai with a forehand pull, which is going out. I think it dropped in. Picked by More. One person push. I think that's Tanishka. If I'm not wrong, good save there by Honey. Back to More and he hucks it. Looking for Kenny. Oh, what a sky there by Kenny! And that's a call. Very interesting call by Hardik Bhai. It seemed there was some body contact while Kenny went to get the disc. Both were in the air. These 50-50s, Snakey, we see a lot of calls happening. What is your view on the same? So I think uh, when two people go for the disc, uh, if the offense player uh, has makes a bid and while coming down, if he, if he makes a contact with the defense player, it is a foul. Like that's what the rule says. Yes, I think that's the difference between the AUDL rules and WFDF. 
we might see a lot of skies where you end up on the shoulder of the other person in AUDL but as per WFDF rules that is I believe a foul it's a contest the disc goes back to More More with the disc again, Arthur marking. Victor was poaching off, now he's back with Vikas, who's looking for a deep hit. On to Ashu. Being marked by Fezan. On to More. Back to Ashu on the sideline. Crazy mark by Fezan again, a break towards the center. And they're going deep again. It's again Kenny. It's too long. Good look there by More. But a little too long for Kenny. That's Ashu. I think you didn't, uh, like not many people saw, but he made a beautiful fake to his defender right here uh, near the center, the line. And he had a clear cut. I think the handler should have looked at uh, Ashu because that was a beautiful cut. Yes, Ashu is one of the most improved players in the last one year. I don't think he's been playing for much longer. One of the, I think he's, he was the spirit captain of Storm last season. Let's see what happens this season. One of the most improved players. He's as adept with his right as with his left. That's nice. Not many people know can do that. Uh, on to Sharanya. Hammers it onto <laughs> Arthur. Nice save there. Arthur looking for a hammer again. Onto Hardik Bhai. Nice break. So, oh, beautiful catch by Victor. Plucks it out of the air. Onto Sharanya. Sharanya has made up quite a lot of ground. Dumps it to Arthur. Hammer onto Fezan. Oh, a little too much on it. I don't think there are many people in MUL who can throw a cross field hammer from behind the half line or around the half line to the back cone. Arthur is one of them. More going towards the disc. Cutting Chai in a vert. Two handlers, Vikas and More. Kenny as head of stack. They've put up a porch there. I think Tanushka, number 22, is on porch. Fedan marking around. Kenny going into help. Yet caught on the sideline. On to Ashu. Nice throw to Vikas, who's made up quite a lot of ground. Back to Ashu. On to Vidya. Nicely taken there. Oh, nice throw to Vikas. Who should beautifully put to More. Who has a free throw onto Kenny. Doesn't take it the look. On to Vikas. Back to More. And he runs up line. And that's an easy score. Vikas with the score. More with the assist. 2-1. To Cutting Chai. 2-1 or 1-1? One 1-1, one? One all, right? One all, my bad. One all to Karin Chai. It was a long point. It was a long point. There is a discussion going on between Hadik Bhai and Kenny. I think they're still discussing the catch and the contact, contact, contact after that. I think one thing which uh, which we can take away from this point at the second half uh, when cutting Jai was uh, what an offense uh, every per person after the 3 fourth, they stayed in a stack which helped the uh, dump handler to just straight burst up line and Kenny was in the center of the field but he did not cut seeing the handler going up line 
which is a beautiful point to observe. Yes. So with Ganna as coach, the basics of the sport have to be clear. Brilliant coach, and one of the major reasons why Cutting Chai did very well in the last season as well. Right, we have seven online. There's Chavi, Kunal, Aditi, Arav, Parshu, Siti, and another girl on the afterburners line. Ashu, Ganna, More, Kenny, Vidya, Poonam, and one more person. Kalpana, I think. Yeah, that's Kalpana. Again in a cup. Parshu on the sideline. Difficult throw. Nice one by City. Back to City. Oh. Nice save by Kunal. On to Parshu. Upline. One twos. A travel call. Back to Kunal, Vayo. Ghana's called a Vayo. On to Parshu, finally there's no call. Ah, and he threw it on the ground. Oh, he's called a foul. I have. It's a very interesting call on Vidya. Body contact? No, no, foul, foul, foul. For what? When she, when he went for the low release, uh, Vidya's hand. The body hand. contact, yeah. It is windy, so you can understand the team's playing cup. There is the calls are taking too much time. That we saw that in the Bantai's game as well. We are hearing 30 seconds from the sidelines. And the disc goes back. Back to Parshu. The cup sets up again. High release. To Rah Kunal, to City, on to Arav, almost. Arav on to Parshu. On to Kunal. Spreads it wide to Aditi. Back to the center with City. On to Kunal, Arav's wide. Nice put to Arav. Arav sees. The long, a little too short, though. Good look, but unfortunate execution. He should have totally taken the throw, though. Yeah. It was wide open. She had all the space. It just need to give a lot more touch on the disc. That was a beautiful look. And the entire way they walked it up from the beginning of the line, there was a beautiful swing from the handlers. But yes, one uh, miss throw, miscalculation would lead to a turn. Yes, Arav in fact has been one of the stars for afterburners this season. From Fountainhead School in Surat. And he's completely led the way for afterburners throughout the two and now two and a half games that they have played. Nice cut there by Kenny. A little too long. Oh, More gets it. Nice save there by More. Passes back to Ashu. On to Kenny. 
Can he lays it up to Mori and a beautiful score. Beautifully done there by Cutting Chai. Phenomenal offense. Clean as a whistle. 2-1 to Cutting Chai. I would like to credit the jerseys of Cutting Chai for the way they are playing. <laughs> Beautifully made jerseys. Love the design and the color. Vaishnavi designed it. Vaishnavi designed it. A one-tie player. Rishabh actually has to bend down to get to the height of everyone else in Cutting Chai. You can see him from amongst, amidst the crowd. The seven have lined up and the after one side line. There's Hardik Bhai, Athir, Ani, Ananya, Shavi, Sharanya and Victor. On the other side we have Kenny, Gana, Poonam, Shubham, I think Kalpana, Vikas and Vidya. Starting on D. Nice pull there by Kenny. Will probably land out. Oh, beautifully put. Lands in. Three handlers. Playing a cup cutting chai. Honey onto Victor. Onto Ananya. Travel call. Again on to Ananya, on to Ani, Sharanya nicely put up the line, back to Victor, spreads it to Hadibai. Hadibai spreads it again to Victor, on to Ani, again on to Victor. Victor is looking for some space to spread again. Arthur goes back to help. Looking for a hammer. His go to throw. Sharanya crashes the cup. And she hammers it. Spreads it to Victor. On to Chavi from IIT. On to Victor. Spreads it again. Nice way to tie the cup. Hardik Bhai has the disc. On to Arthur. On to Hardik Bhai, playing on the sidelines. Back to Ananya. Spread the two Arthur. On to Hardik Bhai. And the cup has been broken and has changed to a person mark. We have Gana on Ather and More on Hadibai. Victor has Sapna marking her. And Ani has found himself a comfortable spot in the end zone. Nice D there. I expect a foul call. Oh yes, of course. Victor's called a foul on the sideline. I believe the the contention is that there was body contact while Kenny went for the disc. There's a discussion on for that. The way he went for the disc, the disc was already going out, sir. And it was really close to the sideline. I'm not sure if he had caught it in. But yeah, I think uh, it's a self referee sport, and if he's accepting the foul, no, he contests the foul. Are by asking the sideline to move? The foul has been contested. Players go back to the original positions with 
How do they buy with having the disc? Why you called? Game on. I'm really, ha I'm really happy to see, we can see behind the goal post, there were Bandai, Bandai's crowd is already taking throws, getting ready for the next match. I think that's current if I'm right. Just taking with the disc. Yeah, I think they just took a break. I think the entire time before, when the point is happening, like three to four points before, they already started taking throws, getting warmed up for the next game, which is good. It was really, really good. They are understanding the win. You need to take throws before the match. As Meghna put it during Bangalore showcase, everyone needs to get the throwing sets in or they'll throw it to the ground. <laughs> Meghna, we love you a lot. Please do not hate us. Is that half? Yes, the whistle was blown before, just before the point, in the middle of the last point. But yeah, I'm not sure why they're lining up. Quite a quick half if that is half. Yeah, half after 30? 35, I think. Yeah. Like Six fifteen, it would have started. Six. No, can't be half. I think they're just lining up for the point now. Quite a long time to set up line. We have More, Kenny, Ashu, Vikas, Sapna, I think that's Vidya and Poonam if I'm not wrong on the cutting chai line. On the aftermath line we have Kunal with the disc, Aditi, Arav, Parshu, Fezan, Chavi and one of the most underrated but safe women players on the west coast Sharanya Kunal pulls it flat pull right into the end zone Vikas goes to catch nice catch there oh. foul call that was quite a clip there by Kunal accepted not many people observe the catch which Kenny just did. He attacked the disc. I think that's what everyone in Indian ultimate needs to learn. Even though if you have yardage, please always attack the disc. One of my favorite players in Indian ultimate, Kenny. If I had to make a list of seven players who are my favorite, he would definitely make the list. I totally agree. And that's a beautiful cut. And a beautiful cut there by Kenny who kicks the disc isn't there a 1000 okay there's no 1000 rupee foul over here yes it's not a UPI tournament it's an off-season tournament <laughs> I think they did fit 2000 for the disc over here unlike a UPI tournament <laughs> because they, the discs got caught in customs I believe I guess I think they're spending 2000 per disc approximately we should probably set up a manufacturing unit in India that would turn out to be cheaper over 10 years maybe or so we hope yes 3-2 to cutting chai quite a quick point unlike the previous one and the spirit captain seemed to be discussing something 
Ananya and Rishabh. Or is Rishabh wearing his organizer hat? I wonder. He's wearing a cap for sure. Which one it is? It will be good to know. <laughs> the cutting chai have lined up. Give Kenny, More, Vikas, Gana, Sapna, Vidya. And I think I can't see from here. But I think that's Poonam. We have on the other side Kunal, Siddhi, Ani, Hardik Bhai. Oh no, Hardik Bhai is sitting. Athar, Ananya, Aditi and Sharanya on the line. 3-2 to Cutting Chai. Kenny has his hand up. And we have hand or hands on the other side as well. And he pulls, nice pull, there by Kenny, as it goes to attack the disc, and he catches it deep in his own end zone. Pass it on to the center. Oh, and he saves it on the second go. Again, a cup. Back. On to Ananya, Ananya passes it back to Kunal. Kunal back to Ani. Ananya in the center. Nice put there. Oh! Nice defense there by Kenny. Blocks out the plastic pass to Sharanya. Adri running back. I don't know why they're walking with the disc. There seems to be some kind of, kind of a call. Travel. Wow. Oh, an uncanny throw away there by More. Should have done a few more of them against the Bantais. <laughs> On to City. Turns back, pass it to Kunal. On to Arthur. Wide ammo open onto Aditi. Will he take the look? No, he doesn't. Patient play there by Arthur. Back to him. Oh, Sharanya drops it. I still stand by the fact that she's one of the safest women players in on the West Coast. Gunner as it is, Kenny with the upline. Oh, that could have hurt. Cutting Chai has managed to turn it over again and Arthur is slowly walking towards the disc. 10 bucks, uh, Snakey, he'll call a timeout. <laughs> uh, no, I don't think so. With the way he's walking up to it, no. <laughs> he doesn't. Damn, I lost 10 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just say I yeah. love you? <laughs> Quite an interesting call. Yeah. They need to look up line. Yeah. On to Sharanya. Nice. Back to Kunal. On to City. Nice breakthrough. Through the cup. Beautifully put there by Kunal. On to Ani. One of the retained players for afterburners. On to City. Passes on to Ananya. They are too close and she does call a double team, I believe. Plays it up. On to Ani. Ani to Arthur. On to Sharanya. On to Ani. Oh, oh, beautiful cut and a catch there and finally finished. Beautifully scored point there. Perfect passing, absolutely clean, I love you play there <laughs> by the afterburners. It's three all and we have the teams going neck to neck. I think it's a, a perfect example for take, take the first look, take the first open option. I think from the time the pass went to the first women, 
and it went back to back, back to back, and a beautiful cut from at the end. Take the first open shot, guys. It always helps. Yes, I completely agree. The extra second you get helps a lot. Wide towards the cutting chai end zone, we have Malik and I think Rushi playing spike ball. That's a nice way to keep yourself warm. A lovely fast paced sport. And we have the teams lined up. There's Rishabh, Kenny, Ashu, Vidya, More, Sapna, and I think Honey. But I can't see from this far. On the other side, we have Victor, Janesh, Aditi, Hardik Bhai, Parshu, Shavi. We have four hands up. Parshu has the disc, he's going for the pull. And he OIs it. Nice floaty pull right into the center. And look, can he save hands? Can he get the disc back? They have set up a porch. Nicely put to Bore. On to Kenny. Press it to Ashu. Oh, unfortunate drop there by Vidya. Hardik Bhai calling for the disc. After one of them set up a vert. Back to Parshu. On to Victor. There's a travel call? There seems to be a travel call. Hand signals would help. This goes back to Parshu. Ashu is marking him. Forces forehand. Oh, almost there. Parshu has the disc. Takes the hit. Questionable decision there. Nice D there. Sapna got the D. Rishabh slowly walking towards the end zone to pick up the disc. Porch has been recognized. Rishabh with a shoulder fake. Sets it up. It was out. And Morey leaves the disc out. Quick turnover close to the end zone. Hadibai goes to pick up the disc. And a beautiful break throw onto Janish in the center. Travel called. I think both the feet were outside the line is what Kenny is calling. Yes, that's the call. Travel. This goes back to Hadik Bhai. Lays it up. And again a questionable throw. More with a leap to get the disc. Caught on the sideline again. There's a poach. Kenny goes back to help. Crashes the cup. Back to Kenny. On to Rishabh. On to More from the middle of the porch.
on to Ashu, nice spread. On to Vidya. Being marked by Parshu. Back to More. Lays it up to Ashu in the center. On to Kenny, who calls the timeout. I think it's half time and they don't they cannot call timeout right now. Because the other game has already stopped. No, that wouldn't matter. In off season rules, I don't think you can call timeout in the last five minutes. Last five minutes? Yeah. Uh, for half. Okay. Because the game is set from time A to time B. So I believe there is such a rule. But again, as Bhavya would say, there are some vague points in the rule book. But to be fair to the organizers, it's just the second tournament, second MUL. So we will keep finding changes. One uh, interesting point or one feedback which uh, Cutting Chai needs to take. Whenever they get the disc on the sideline, the first look should always, should be to looking at the centering the disc. You need to square up, look up, look at your dump handler and it doesn't make sense when there's a poach giving an upline cut. It's always better if they look around, take that around pass or the break option. Always center the disc at stall zero. If you're waiting for stall four, you lose out, and causing having a turnover at the opposite per, at the end zone of the other team, it it is, it is a hurt for us. It's hard to get back to this. Good point there by Snakey. Ananya seems to be warmed up. She's jumping around, all charged up. Play defense again. Offense is setting up in a whole stack. We have more in the center. It is quite an interesting host tag I think from here it appears that oh no they are setting up a normal host tag for a second it appeared that Vidya and Moreva are in the same line and with a combination of Vert and Ho but it's not Hani has taken one sideline Sapna is on the other Oh no, that's a foul call by Ashu. The pass had been completed, he could have retracted it. Let the game flow. <laughs> Coincidentally, the half time is over and the game has started on the other side as well and we are still in the first half on the, in this game. Stall coming in at 8 I believe.
Paishu has called a foul. Stall goes back to eight. Disc is still with Ashu. And a nice defense there by Victor. The high stall obviously causing the pressure. And ah! Oh, Paishu has given it back. It's like candy to a boy. Rishabh gobbles it up. Look there and ah, Morea shot it a little too low and a little too short. Hadibai with the disc. Lays it up to Victor. Oh, a little too far. Rishabh with the disc, asking him to come down. Nice break throw onto Kenny. Onto More. More looking to Vidya. Nicely, um, nicely makes up space. Back to More. That was quite a difficult grab and he catches it perfectly. Back to Vidya. They found out the poach and using it well. Hardik Bhai with the D. Nice D there by Hardik Bhai. Janesh, Pashu and Victor handling. Hardik Bhai in the center. Okay, Victor's. And they've called another timeout. on for the past 15 minutes exactly clearly I do not know the rules apparently you can call two timeouts with less than five minutes remaining I'm sorry guys it, I'm sure both the teams won't make this mistake and I'm wrong over here what time did the game start? game started at 6 o'clock right at 6 15 6 15 Welcome back guys, uh, this is Sneaky, your commentator as of now, uh, I think Tuhin has a, his, he has a game at 8 o'clock so he had to leave uh, because uncharted reporting time was at 7. And score is equal, it's 3 all. And it's the 31st minute. 30 minutes, 31 minutes left. And it's a double team call. And this is happening pretty uh, constantly, or it's, uh, I could see that the same in the Uncharted game. 
and Aran throw and a 50-50 disc up in the air and Kenny gets it easily. I'm sorry, I don't know much names. Uh, so, and the disc up in the air around a beautiful swing and good patience. Wide release and a hawk which is up in the air with Kenny. And there was a foul call by Kenny. Asking for perspective, this goes up. And there was a quickly uh, resolved, and they have contested. to throw a, a beautiful uh, throw and unfortunately it is a turn and there's a good thing whenever you get the disc on the sideline always center there's a really good job and an around throw but unfortunately it was a turn. Kenny uh, look, faking the deep, passing it to Rishabh. Rishabh passing it. And that's a nice save. And a big fake. And up. And the wind just took it. Yes. It's really, really important to understand the wind. A good end cut and good up line. Looks like there it's a, a bit poachy defense and a good grab. It checks it in and swings. There's a good break swings happening. Uh, that's a brilliant score. I think that's the way to play it, guys. You always need to swing so it opens up the entire field and take the opportunity uh, when they give a cut. So if you can see, swing, he breaks the mark again and immediately it was a quick forehand flick advantages of her being a lefty
And on the other field, that's Grumpy's versus Icebreakers. And I can see Mac, uh, Rizwan, and Tahir on the line where Mac is with the disc. So far, update on this game. Uh, 25 minutes more to go, and after Burn Burners is leading by four, and Cutting Chai is down by is down by one. Four three guys. And cutting chai with the pull, and that's a, a good roller pull stopped by Kenny. Oh, sorry, Kenny is with the disc organizing the stack. And looks like there's a call. Play. I think he's just cutting chai, start at counting before three, before three meters. Goes home is the call. A good up line. And it's a beautiful swing from the sideline. It's always good that we keep the disc in the center. And yes, Kenny on the sideline with the disc. Pump faking it. It's a foul. And the lights are coming up now. Yes, it's 7-10. And it definitely doesn't look like 7-10 and that's a foul call you need to try br the break IO through with a backhand I think there was a contact
one takeaway there were too many calls on this particular game and that's a very important you resolve it within 30 seconds or else your game time would be affected as off season has a hard stop after the game time you don't get an extra time and there was a good hawk and And there was a strip call, I believe, from Kenny. What do you guys think? Let us know in the comments. Do you think that was a foul or a strip call? And to say Kenny did have a touch on the disc not sure if he held it in his hand but yes let us know in the comment section if it was a strip or a foul yes and not keeping the call within 30 seconds is affecting the game Looks like they have contested. Place happening on the, the the corner third, and it's a cent they have centered it with Kenny on the center. A good look on the center, trying to do the crazy mark, and she puts it up in there, and Nirma gets it. Nirma gets it. This is a good pochi defense. Does she up? And a good end cut by Anil. Send up in there. And a good hammer to break the, the break. And cheeky no look backhand. Quick one, two, and there's a contact on the field. And this is checked in. And a cheeky off. Not only the marker, but anyone playing on the field can call a travel. And travel call is not a stoppage. You don't have to check in uh, when the travel is being called. That's a good, a cheeky backhand throw. Good around cutting chai with 
with patience and we have a dog on the field who would also want to play uh, I'm not sure if the camera is catching that but yeah there's a, a cute puppy on the field which also want to play and yes I think it's it has left I'm not sure it, uh, a puppy just took the cone away <laughs> and sorry guys I was just getting distracted but yeah there was a turn and offline and there's a quick one two looks like there's a a stamp a contact last 40 minutes of the game and there was a clean deep Cutting chai. Number nine asking everyone to calm down. And one thing to observe that like everyone are really close to the sideline. The people on the sideline do not give space. Out over the desk and a cheeky up to a high release too. that is floated and Kenny gets it and a cheeky I.O. throw to Kenny which is a beautiful and a quick one two Kenny with the arm And then Kenny gets it back. Oh, I think it looks like there's a travel call on the field. Cutting Chaya asking Ara to correct his course. And that's a that's up in there and a bit out. Ooh. Unfortunately there was a contact out of thought I think Kenny was going for the greatest but I think he got hit by in the head I think Ara was just looking watching the disc did not realize that Kenny had already stopped walking getting his hands in the sand it, it is sweaty it is humid in Bombay and there's a timeout called Schedule uh, the last games. We have at 8 p.m. Icebreakers versus Afterburners and Bomb Squad versus Bandits. As of now, Icebreak at 6:15 there was Icebreakers versus Grumpy Grumpies and 
the match which you guys are watching right now is after bonus versus cutting chat. And yes, using the timers effectively would help team to rebuild. And if you guys did see that on the other field, it was a beautiful layout from Icebreaker. And it was score and a celebration. Looks like last 10 minutes to the game and it's 31 degrees and the wind is at 16 kilometers per hour in this 72 percent humid in Bombay. Especially in this ground, to be very spe specific. I believe that was Ganesh. Yeah, Ganesh with a beautiful disc mark. Ganesh with the disc. We're taking that around. We haven't seen much deep blocks in this particular game, especially, especially by from the cutting chai. And hopefully they take one. It is important uh, to confuse uh, the opposite team. team. A good around. And a beautiful swing. And a cheeky high release. Which is an advantage. For the afterburner, and there was a beautiful throw. But unfortunately, fell a bit short. Kenny with the disc and so yardage gaining Ganesh uh, in cut from Ganesh and Kenny with the hawk and the disc is going out we need to understand the wind if you guys can see uh, the wind is from from the players where you can see off season ultimate on the banner. Once, I think once the camera focus is on the side. So basically the wind is from the sideline to sideline. Looks like it's game time. I could hear Almost game time because I could hear the ship uh, asking the afterburners to pick up the disc pretty soon, quickly. Sorry for the cutting chai, I believe. And Al has a cramp. There's an injury call. I think one of they have a substitute. And a cheeky high release. Kenny with a beautiful layout and gets the disc. Mm. 
Like when you're a D-line player, you need to protect the game and give that extra space before you bet for the disc. Kenny on the sideline, picks the hammer. And a cheeky scuba, but unfortunately, that's a good say it's on the safe hands. And Kenny with the high on a backhand. OI through and that's a score. They are added here last two minutes on the line. score is even it's for all looks like it's an universal because uh, there is no concept of hard cap or, or uh, sorry there's no concept of game uh, to there's no plus one on the time uh, one the times and irrespective uh, if wherever the disc is it is game but looks like that if we run out of time in two minutes, they would have to finish the game, at least this particular point. So, as it's universal, a beautiful pull game by Kenny, cutting chai, progressing the disc on the the la on the one fourth of the field, and a beautiful swing the right way to go for it and yes and it swings it back confusing the cup and the break and the cup does get fumbled and the test the space does open up and a cheeky backhand io a successful and again one more through the cup and, and fell a bit short and yes you it is 40 seconds to game and on the sideline and hopefully i think they're looking to hawk and everyone's calling last 20 seconds There's a hug goes up. Kenny gets a disc still. Oh, okay. Doesn't look that they're gonna finish the point. It is a draw. It's for all. And Kenny with a beautiful last grab. That's it from my end guys, uh, thank you so much for tuning in, I would have to go support the Bombay Bantais, uh, the person who also was a co-owner in Uncharted and Bangalore, so I would be going and helping to him and Bantais. Take care, see you.